Hey guys, hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, I want to do a quick recap of the 2023 Series 2 case I did. I did a jumbo case. Hope you guys enjoyed that series. I uh, just wanted to get this out so we can kind of look at all the stuff we got out of the case as a whole and uh, maybe what you can expect if you try to rip your own. I know holidays are coming up. And then I've also got a question I'm going to pose to you guys at the end. Uh, and I would really appreciate some feedback in the comments. Um, real quick, before we get into that, I just want to show this off because I'm don't. i not going to there's not really a place for it in any other video. Uh, I did a, a group break with the new 2023 Chronicles that came out, and I got the, the Rangers specifically because I wanted to go for some Evan Carter stuff. Obviously, Tops doesn't have Carter cards yet as far as, you know, rookies and stuff, but uh, Panini does. And so Chronicles had him, hit a few base ones, some nice numbered stuff for the Rangers, but then I was lucky enough to hit this Obsidian autograph of Evan Carter. So first Carter auto for me. Uh, I'm a huge fan of him. I actually live in Dallas, uh, even though I'm not specifically a Rangers fan. They're kind of becoming my second favorite, you know, getting Scherzer and DeGrom from the, the Mets and then just being a hometown team with a great lineup. I like Seager, I like Carter, you know, Josh Young obviously coming up is great. So super happy to have this uh, first Evan Carter auto in my collection. And next year I'm going to be going hard after him. So uh, really pumped to get that. And then we'll get into this case. So uh, hits over here. This is kind of some of the rookie and insert numbered stuff. Not going to go through all of this, but this is a bunch of the silver pack rookies we got. Uh, not many huge ones. We got some good ones. Uh, I'll think I might have top loaded them already. Um, and some 88s. A uh, bunch of rookie rainbow foils. We kind of struck out when it comes to the, the parallels of the rookies, which is unfortunate. That was kind of the reason I went with the Series 2 case. It's got Corbin Carroll, Anthony Volpe, Francisco Alvarez, Jordan Walker, a bunch of names like that. And we really did not hit anything, which is unfortunate. I, I can't imagine many cases um, will strike out like this, which I guess is good if I were to do another one. But for the one I got, pretty rough. Um, here's some of the numbered stuff, non-rookies right here. Bunch of golds, obviously. Um, nothing too huge. There's a nice Brandon Nimmo for my Mets. Uh, advanced stats. Got some uh, foil board parallels here. Jack Peterson red um, and then some of the nicer not sleeve stuff we've got the 88s Corbin Alvarez Yoshida Senga Tovar Steer again these are all the guys that are in this series uh, and we didn't <laughs> that we didn't hit um, significant stats there favorite son of Harris and Adley and some of the, like the good silver pack rookies we got Spencer Steer and then the two Mets for me Kota Senga and Francisco Alvarez it's pretty nice on those, no, uh, no Corbin or Walker or anything like that. Next, um, some parallels and numbered stuff. We had a bunch of blues. Uh, no golds or blacks, really, but tons of blues. This is the Tony Gonsolin, All Aces blue, uh, Franco, WBC, one of his favorite son of uh, Rizzo. It's really nice Legends of the Game, George Brett blue. Nice color match there. I actually like that one a lot. Um, and then really nice for me, Kodai Senga on the 88 rookie blue so limited to 600 there nice card for me second in rookie of the year voting awesome for him and some of the the rookies and lower numbered stuff we only hit i mean when i say we struck out with this these were the three numbered rookies we hit uh brendan davis gold to 2023 ford proctor green to 499 and then we hit a silver pack michael kind of popping up there michael tolia uh, which is a nice card to 99, but kind of a, a third string Rockies rookie, all, in all honesty. Um, and some the lower numbered stuff we got, we got a Randy from the Silver Packs, also numbered to 99 green. And a nice Chris Sale black to 72. It's a nice card. And then, nice for me, Brandon Nimmo Independence Day for the Mets to 76. I really like Nimmo. I'm a huge fan of him, so I was not disappointed with that one. Very happy to have that. Um, but yeah, like I said, numbered and, and parallels we really struck out with. Uh, this was more of a hits-focused case, which is fine. I mean, I don't, I don't mind that at all. But when I'm getting series, if I wanted to get a hits-focused case, I might lean towards another series, which kind of has to do with my question that I'll pose at the end. But we'll go through these hits first. Uh, manufactured relics were pretty cool. Hit a, a Ted Williams, Johnny Bench, Lou Gehrig, and then a numbered Griffey that I actually like a lot to 299. And then two of these silver sluggers, both of them were numbered. Uh, Aaron Judge and Trey Turner. The turn is to two ninety nine. The Judge is to three ninety nine. I kind of just noticed that. It's weird. I don't know why. Those are manufactured relics. Nothing too too crazy. Relic cards we actually did pretty well on. 
Uh, like I said, very hits-focused case, decent relics, decent autos. Um, so we got Chris Bryant, Major League Material back card, Jordan back card. And then for the 88s, really nice Adley rookie relic. We had a Juan Soto back card, all-star parallel or uh, all-star set. Ozzy Smith back card, really nice there. And then uh, our only numbered one was this Jeremy Pena. But it's a really nice looking card to 199 Really like those 88, especially when you get a parallel. Uh, and then our autographs here. Go through some of these. Got so like I said, really not bad. We only got two baseball stars autos, and both were base of Bly Major and Jermaine Palacios. Uh, these are the only rookie autos we got, which is interesting. Out of six six boxes, only two rookie autos. Um, kind of why I'm I'm saying it's more hits focused on here. We got uh, four eighty eight autographs. We got Jack Flaherty on. These are all on card, by the way. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Black. This is one of the more short printed ones. Uh, really nice on card. So the blacks are usually to, I think, $1.99 in the autographs. This one's only to $99. So this is one of those ones where I think the gold would be to $25 instead of $50 and uh, so on. So really nice there with the black Marlins uniform he's got on. Uh, and then our two good or better autos. Uh, this was in the last box we got. Really nice. I think this is the first auto I hit of him. Might have had another one before, but I don't remember it. Um, number inscription on card auto of Will Clark for the Giants. Really nice signature there. Big and uh, pretty nice looking. Definitely took his time. Big fan of that one. Nice looking card there. Not numbered, but still, still pretty sweet. And then uh, let me go ahead and get that on a stand. It's one of the better cards we hit. Get that up. Jazz. And then our two biggest hits, in my opinion, from this case. Uh, in the second box, we hit this, my first ever autograph of this guy. Super pumped. On card 88 of Juan Soto. Possibly even a better signature than the Will Clark. I do like Soto's auto a lot. Really, really nice. I was so pumped to hit this first one I've ever hit of him. Hoping to hit more, of course. And then our big hit from the case, uh, in my opinion, one of the better hits. Uh, we did hit a Golden Mirror SSP, and you can get anyone in the set, anyone in the checklist. And we hit one of the better rookies, probably a top 10 rookie from the, the series. It was a Garrett Mitchell. Super short print, image variation. Unfortunately, with Series 2, they made the SSP in silver text instead of gold. In Series 1 and in Update, they're gold. I don't know why they did this for Series 2. It kind of looks a little cheaper, but... Garrett Mitchell, nice rookie for the Brewers. They have a very young, talented team with Mitchell and Freilich and, and Weimer and all those guys coming up, Terang. So that's kind of the, the better hits we got from the case. Um, like I said, struck out on the parallels, but that's okay. Uh, the, the question I wanted to ask was if I, you know, I, I got this to kind of lead up to the holidays and then I'm going to open something on the holidays. And I think I'm down to a case of Series 2 again, just like this, or a case of Update. I think with Series 2, the checklist is obviously way better. Definitely a higher risk, higher reward when you get, uh, you know, Carol Alvarez, some of those big rookies. And you can, you do have a chance to get some of these big hits like this. But with Update, I think the hits are a lot more abundant. You get a ton more. It's got all the debuts, so your chances of striking out like I did here are, are basically non-existent. <laughs> you know, you're going to get parallels of a bunch of the nice rookies and rookie debuts. Uh, and the hits that are coming out of there are actually pretty sweet with the All-Stars and the dual autos I've seen. Um, stuff like that. So if you guys had to rip a case, uh, you know, after seeing the Series 2 on here, would you go back and rip another Series 2? Or would you rip an update and just have some nice fun with it and hopefully try to get some some good numbered rookies, debuts, and, and bigger hits like that? Uh, let me know in the comments and let me know what you thought of this case. Really appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.